Hello folks, this is Mike, and this is a swivel rocker recliner. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to keep it from swiveling. I've received some comments since then of folks that would like to keep it from rocking. So today I'm going to show you a simple, cheap, and reversible method on how to do just that. And best of all, you'll still be able to use it as a recliner. So please continue watching. A while back, we bought these rocker recliner swivel chairs, and it took about a week of use to decide that we just did not like the swivel function. So I figured how to stop that, and I did a video on it, and it does not swivel now. So if you would like to do that to your chair, uh, be sure to stick to the end of the video, and there will be a clickable link. I'll also try to put that in the video description as well. Now, I've had other people contact me since then and say they don't want it to rock, and maybe they don't want it to recline, or maybe they don't want it to do all three. <laughs> but we only have time in this video to deal with how to make it stop rocking. And we're just, it's going to be very simple. We're going to use a stick of wood, a couple of three bolts, and a cable tie. And that will do the trick. Cheap, simple, and effective. Now, if you're interested in making it stop reclining, I am planning a video upcoming on that. So be sure to go below, like our video, subscribe to our channel, click the notification icon, and you'll be notified when that comes up. So I've turned my recliner upside down and braced it on my tabletop. And we're going to take a look at the mechanism. Um, your mechanism may be different from mine. So I want to show you some things before we just jump into the repair. Now first notice that this assembly moves back and forth. You'll notice everything else stays stationary. Notice particularly this piece and this piece, okay? So here we go. Now notice this right here. This is a round, I don't know what you'd call that, but it's going to drop into this slot here when we open the recliner, okay? So here we go. Now watch what happens. It's in the slot and this is all locked. So if we want our recliner to work after the repair, we have to lock the, the, this mechanism in this position. And of course, notice that all of this moves, all of these pieces move, so we, the only piece we have that we can attach anything to is this piece or this piece because they do not move. And the only practical place to really attach to is this one. So I'm gonna open it up, and to do the repair, I'm just going to use a piece of one by two and I'm going to slip it up under this angle bracket right here and butt it up against the stationary piece, okay? Okay, now watch that. Now as I open the recliner and close it, you'll notice that stays in position and it doesn't move. There's a series of holes right here. We're going to drill through those and attach the one by two to it, to the recliner with some bolts. Then I'm going to drill a hole here, and we're going to attach this piece to this. And when you open and close the recliner, this is going to stay in place, and we can lock the rocker mechanism. And honestly, I'm just going to put one in for right now, but for uh, this additional strength, you'll probably want to put one in on each side. The other side is identical to this one. So now I've got my recliner lifted, and this is locked into place. So let's go ahead and install this. But I immediately have one problem. And this is something you can't see in the video and I can't get a camera in here. But see this bolt head on the other side is a nut. And when I put the board in and butt it up against here, you can see the problem. Look how this rocks against that bolt head. So what we're going to need to do is drill a shallow hole for that bolt head to recess into first before we do anything else. So what I've done is I've put a little water-based pipe on my fingers. And I'm just going to coat the top of the bolt head with that. We'll put this back in here. Let it fall all the way down. I'm going to pull it against the brace here. Tie it up against the L bracket. And I'm going to lift. And voila! That's where my bolt head is. So I need to drill a hole about halfway through, wider than the bolt head, and let that reset. So we'll do that first. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go ahead and try it out now. Slip it in. And there we go. Now it's tied up against the bottom of the L bracket. You see, it'll move around a little bit because the hole's bigger than the nut head. So now what we need to do is mark our holes. And I'm just going to take a pencil and outline the hole. And I put a mark here to indicate that this goes against the brace. Okay, there we go. Now we can go back to the shop and drill these holes. So now let's try it. Here we go. And I want to be sure to slip this over the nut. There we go. And you'll notice my holes all seem to match up. Tell you what, let's put the bolt on it first. Notice I've got a washer underneath the bottom too. And we want to use a second washer on top along with the nut. Next thing we have to do is just tighten up our bolts. So, now here's the problem. I made a mistake. I forgot to drill this hole. So you can see, even with this here, it's still not going to work unless you do something here. Okay? So, I'm going to drill a hole right here. I just didn't want to get sawdust in the house and in my chair, but I sure don't want to have to take it all apart again. Now this is just a heavy cable tie, 3 eighths of an inch wide, rated at 175 pounds, and there'll be a link in the video description for these. So I'm going to slip this through. And these are the same uh, tie wraps or cable ties I used here. And you have to be sure you get these oriented right. The little dome structure should face away from the strap as you put it through. Otherwise it'll just slip. Put it good and tight. I can snip it off. Okay. And now, no movement at all. Okay, so now let's put it on the floor and try it out. And look, we have no rock. And the chair reclines normally, just like it should. Now, it's a little bit jiggly, and that's because we just put on one piece of one by two. If you'll add the other piece to the other side of the chair, uh, you'll stop a lot of that jiggle and you'll make your repair twice as strong. Folks, be sure to send me your comments and your questions and it may take a day or two, but I will get back with you. So don't forget to watch for that upcoming video on how to stop the recline. And folks, that's going to do it for today. So until next time, thanks for watching.